Hey folks, a lot of times people share articles that name some scientist or professor and they said some terrifying thing, and then I go and find out that no such person or institute exists or they're absolute loon balls themselves. So it's nice when I find the exact opposite. Now this is Lonnie Thompson, and he is the real deal when it comes to earth sciences. You should read his bio or maybe one of his 188 published works if you're interested. Now Thy Always Seek shared this article a few hours ago. Professor Thompson led a team from Ohio State studying climate change and found that a major shift occurred 5,200 years ago. Now, 5,200 years ago, there was a dramatic cooling that literally froze plants in perfect conditions, and they've even found a human frozen from that same time. Now, for those who haven't connected the dots yet, the Mayan calendar is just under 5,200 years, but I'll come back to that. He also concluded that solar activity was to blame and that, specifically, a brief period of inactivity was followed by an immense surge. It is not more specific than that, but we had just one of the longest solar minimums in recent uh, history, in modern history, of watching the sun, and my hasn't it woken up with a bang. Or maybe it's on a longer scale. You remember that MR2 Tough shared this article, uh, which indicates that the last 40 years of solar activity are uniquely strong among 8 millennia. Maybe it's not the sun at all, but our protection from it. For those who have forgotten, scientists have tracked the exponential North Pole shift that has gone shockingly under the radar. After its, quote, surprising jump over an approximately 70-year period, the next 68 years saw momentous movement. But then it moved about the same distance in 29 years. In 2009, it was measured racing towards Russia at 40 miles per year. You can read more about what would happen uh, if there was a dramatic shift, but to su uh, suffice to say, if this big shift occurs quickly, we may be left significantly more vulnerable to solar events. Our shield won't completely disappear, but it doesn't really need to. This used to be the website Climate Logic. It had proof of solar activity's effect on the ocean and the atmosphere. Unfortunately, it has been taken down since my video last month. Luckily, I still have some footage of the site. Now, I liked it for two reasons. First, one of the primary articles ending, uh, that indicated how geoeffective space weather correlates to earthquakes seemed to indicate that one of the mechanisms for this was the abrupt change in the atmosphere, westerly winds. Now, these changes pressure on the land and affects ocean levels. Now, those abrupt shifts in uh, the geologic pressure combined with any effects of energy flow through the rocks, metals, crystals, etc. along the magnetic field lines, as is the case during strong space weather. Now, in addition to westerly winds correlating, they also noticed that a strange heating event occurred in 2007 and has broken the normal cycle of cooling down at solar minimum. Now, this confirms that things are changing rapidly, recently, in the oceans and in our protective layers. We are going to have to continue to watch solar activity for the kill shot, electromagnetic disturbances, and when it correlates with those all-important planetary conjunctions or alignments, Perhaps we will have to watch for strong earthquakes as well. Regarding that, on March 22nd, many believe a great earthquake will happen. Some say it is the 188-day cycle. Some say it is Nibiru. People tell me that 322 is the skull and bones number, so maybe some will blame Harp or something else like that. I will tell you that Mercury conjoins the sun along with the new moon on that day. What will you think if we also have geomagnetic storms near then, or a particle event? Personally, I cannot imagine the clusterfuck of insanity if something happens that day. It might make our jobs going forward, you know, keeping people sane, impossible. Anyway, if you're watching this on March 11th or March 12th, we got CMEs hitting and one more on the way. Now keep your eye on the sky, folks. Be safe.